Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mons and for today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Now we aren't going to be doing sneakers today but I am going to be sharing one of my first designer bags from this brand Bottega Veneta. Now like I said this is going to be my first bag from this brand so I'm very excited to share that with you all and if you happen to be new to my channel then you'll know that in addition to my love for sneakers I do collect other things including designer bags and accessories and also toy collectibles and this one happens to be one of my most recent bare brick purchases so stay tuned for that i'm actually working on a bare brick collection video as well so once i have that ready to go i'll be sure to notify everybody but if you like this type of content please feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you're notified of when my new videos have been uploaded so with that being said let's go ahead and get started so for those who aren't familiar with the Bottega Veneta brand, they are an Italian luxury house founded in 1966 and is best known for their signature leather woven design known as Intrecciato. Now this leather woven design is something that I never thought that I would purchase for myself. I've always seen pictures of it, but I never gravitated towards it. Now, I did purchase this bag in Vegas when I was there last week, and I kind of wanted to go into my whole shopping experience with an open mind since I knew what I wanted. I wanted a small bag, I wanted something functional, but I didn't necessarily have a specific brand in mind. So, I had never gone into a Bottega store before, so it was my first experience in there, and I spent well over an hour in there, and I wanted to give a quick shout out to the sales associate that helped me. Nikki, thank you so much for making my experience at Bottega one of the most amazing experiences and for being so patient with me. And because of that, I think it really wanted me to continue purchasing with the brand, especially with that experience that I had. So um, for those who are looking and are in the Vegas area, I would highly recommend going to the Bellagio location because their staff is absolutely amazing. Now let's go ahead and get into the bag. So this is the packaging that it comes in. This is their holiday packaging. I love this like candy cane style in the red and white. And this bag is a little deceiving because I definitely did not get a bag this size, but I think it's so cute. I love collecting like packaging, that's why. So this is the box that it comes in. It comes in that same holiday candy cane sleeve packaging. And then when we take that off, this is the box that it comes in. Now it's funny because this box is way too big for the bag. It's probably the bag itself is probably like half the size, but still very cute. And here we go. Let's go ahead and get it into the bag itself. All right. Now it comes in this beautiful white dust bag with the Bodega Veneta on the front. And here we go. This is the bag. So this is the mini loop camera bag and this is in the color agate gray. It is a patent calfskin leather with metallic knob embellishments in a brass finish. It is a single compartment bag with a zipper closure and I ended up purchasing this bag for $2,400 and with tax it came out to around $2,600. Now, one of the selling points for me was the fact that I can actually wear this three different ways. This is primarily a crossbody bag, but I can actually turn it into a shoulder bag and wear it as a pouch as well. So when we have the strap tucked in here, of course, I can wear it as a pouch, kind of hold it underneath my arm here. Or if I just wanted to hold it like this, I thought it's a really nice evening bag. Now, of course, if I wanted to wear it as a crossbody, I would just remove it outside of the compartment. And this is what it would look like. It does look short, but on me, since I'm 5'4 and I tend to have, or not tend to have, I do have a short torso. This kind of sits perfectly at my hip for me. And the selling point for me was being able to turn this into a shoulder bag. So I'll go ahead and show that to you guys right now. So all you would do is you're gonna pull the sides here as low as you'd like. Of course, you know, however you wanna do it. So I pulled it just almost to the edge of the knot here, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and that's gonna shorten the length. So let me go ahead and close the zipper right now. And of course, since they're known for their knots as well, Nikki showed me that I could actually knot the top of the straps here in order to shorten the length. And it would look something like this. So of course it doesn't look super pretty right now, but for the purposes of what I'm trying to show you, this is what it's gonna look like. Look how cute that is. So if I wanna have a shoulder bag, I can do, I'll go ahead and like ah, do a little squat here, but 
look how cute that is i love the length of this and of course depending on how short or how long i want it i can adjust the knot and i can even continue to pull down the straps here if i wanted to to reach the edge of the knot to have an even shorter length but i think that was definitely one of the selling points for me since i was primarily looking for a shoulder bag but the fact that i can wear this bag in three ways was enough for me to purchase this bag now, what I love most about Bottega is the fact that they have so many other color options for their bags as well. Now, on this day, they only had two colors in this particular bag, and it was in this agate gray, and they had it in black as well. Now, since I have other bags that are already in black, I didn't want to purchase that one, so I definitely was looking for other colors that I already didn't have. Now, if you aren't really a big fan of this patent leather finish, they did have this bag in the lambskin leather alternative, so if you are looking for something that's a little more casual, I think that would be a really great option. That one retails for $19.50, and the color that I'm looking at or the color that I was looking at when choosing between those two bags was Thunder. It's kind of like this beautiful bluish gray. I'll go ahead and leave uh, a photo of it so you know what I'm talking about. But in that lambskin one, it also doesn't have this metallic knob embellishment, so just something to keep in mind. I think this is one of the details that really swayed me towards purchasing this one in particular. And one thing also that the sales associate did tell me was that the lambskin leather is a little bit more on the delicate side. so. Something to keep in mind when purchasing bags is of course like the durability. So that is also one of the reasons why I ended up purchasing the calfskin alternative was because I wanted something that would last better over time. And since I do love the fact that I can um, put knots through the straps like this so that I can turn it into a shoulder bag, I wanted to make sure that it would last longer over time as I continue to use it. So yeah. So the fun part, let's go ahead and see what can actually fit in this bag. Now my current everyday bag is this one. It's my Uniqlo Moon bag. Now as you can see, there is a bit of a size difference. So as you can imagine, there are definitely more items that I can fit in here. But since the idea is that I want this to be primarily all of my essentials, let's see what can fit in here. So I've already separated some items that I would definitely need to have in here. So first being my Celine coin purse, which is probably the biggest item that I have. And then I have my Prada card case. Now I can certainly consolidate the cards in here into my coin purse, but for demonstration's sake, we're gonna keep it as two items. I have my hand sanitizer. I use the Touchland one, and this is in the wild watermelon scent. And then I also have my hand cream. Now my hands have been really dry lately since it is the winter time, so I wanna make sure that they're constantly moisturized. I also have my compact mirror, and this is the Mulan one from Disney. It's super cute. I also have a bag hook. This is super, super convenient to have, especially when um, chairs at restaurants or bars don't really have a place to put your bag. This is super, super clutch to have. And of course, I have a little tiny native deodorant. I can fit that here on the side. And then I also have some blotting paper since your girl can get oily. And then I also have my Summer Fridays lip balm. This is in the vanilla beige um, color, if you're wondering. And last but not least, I can also fit a pair of sunnies right on the top. Now, typically I would have a protective case on this. And if I were to um, have this in my bag, I would probably have more of like a little baggie to cover it just so it wouldn't get scratched up. So I'll go ahead and throw that on the top. Now it wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it's like filled to the brim or anything, but I am still able to grab things if I need to. And usually I do have my sunnies either like hanging off of my t-shirt or on the top of my head anyway. So in reality, it's more so if I wanted to kind of secure it, but otherwise I think it fits a really good amount of stuff. And let's go ahead and close it up, make sure. Perfect. And I love the fact that it doesn't look stuffed. It still looks really good. And I'm not the type to like overly stuff bags anyway. So I want to make sure that I'm still able to grab things without having um, a hard time going through my bag. And of course, um, I actually don't put my phone in my bag. I typically have it in hand or in my pocket. So it's not something that I would typically store in here anyway, if you're wondering why I didn't put it in here. And I did check in store if it actually does fit my phone. I tend to have a bulkier case on my phone at the moment and it does fit. It does take a little bit of angling, but if you were curious, an, IT, an iPhone 14 Pro Max does fit in this bag. So yeah, really happy with the amount of things that I can fit in here. Now, before I end this video, I want to show you all what the different configurations would look like on me. Now, for reference, I am 5'4". I currently have it in the shoulder strap configuration, and look how cute she looks. 
I love that I'm able to put it in a shoulder strap configuration because then it just gives it more versatility and it just looks so cute. Now I'll go ahead and show you all what it looks like as a crossbody and I'll go ahead and unloop that. And then I'll put it like this. So this is what it looks like. And let me actually pull down the straps a little bit more so that we can get a little bit more length for the crossbody. But even having it up like that, I'm still able to get a really good length on it. But this is what it looks like having these straps all the way pulled down. And oh, I love it so much. I love that I can put it as a shorter strap or a longer crossbody. And if I wanted to, I can also, of course, wear it like this. So. I love how versatile it is and I'm super, super excited to be styling this with my outfits. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you really enjoyed that as much as I did. If you happen to have any questions for me or any suggestions for what content you'd like to see, please leave them in the comment section. And if you're new here and enjoy this content, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all at the next video. This has been your girl Mons and bye.